Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna install a Sonoff uh, basic Wi-Fi smart switch. Oh. Is that... All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna splice it into the circuit to power and control this fan and light using the Google Mini. And this switch has power coming in, power going out, and the neutral right here. So the Sonoff Wi-Fi receiver needs power coming in on one side, load and neutral, and it'll control the other circuit on the receiving end of this with load and neutral. All right, so what we've done here is we've taken some number 14 wire and uh, we cut off about one inch on the end. That's gonna go into the power source, the white with the white, neutral, and the black with the black, hot. And on this side, uh, you only cut off about half an inch at the most to jab it into the receiving end and then tighten it with a very small flathead screwdriver. Uh, so remember to have a flathead screwdriver around. We had a little bit of trouble with that earlier. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test it by tying it into the actual system and powering on this Wi-Fi module. And that'll be the first step. And we'll test what will happen to the output before we tie it into the lights. Uh, test your wires to make sure uh, they're, not, they're not active. So this is the, the hot lead that goes to the switch once you release the power. So let's go ahead and tie it in. All right, so as you can see from here, I've tied it into the neutral and I've tied the load into the existing light switch, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do now is connect this module to a Wi-Fi network and then see how the switching mechanism works. Okay, so what we're illustrating here is after you install the Wi-Fi module and you test it, you install the app, uh, we're testing to see what it's passing through on the, uh, the downstream of this device. So I have it set to a AC 200 volts. And when you turn it on, notice uh, it passes a potential of 124 volts over. So which tells me that you don't need something with line and neutral on this side. You could use this as a direct pass through and uh, you could just connect a line on here and it'll power your lights. Again, to review the wiring, uh, we have the neutral and the hot powering the switch. And from the switch, it'll govern the uh, output of the hot line that goes to the light and the ceiling. To illustrate that it does work, we're gonna take the app right here and we're gonna hit, oh, voila. And you pair it with your Google and you should be able to control it via voice. So we've ran into a problem uh, while we were testing it. What happened was we put the physical switch before the Wi-Fi switch. So we were able to ultimately control shutting the power off in an event of an emergency or whatever. But uh, the problem was once you turn it off, the physical switch, you can't turn it back on. So on a day-to-day -day use kind of a scenario, it becomes quite inconvenient because you need to have access to the app in order to control the light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewire this. We rewired the system. Now the first thing that comes in and gets the power is the switch, and then it goes into the manual switch, which is gonna mount to the wall, so it'll still work like before. To sum up, we installed a sewn off switch today and it worked out pretty well. Now remember when you do the installation, put the sewn off before your physical switch. And that's it, so let's try it. Hey Google, turn off office fan. You got it, turning off the office fan. Hey Google, turn on office fan. Sure, turning on the office fan. Okay, so we just wanna reiterate the importance of putting the switch before the physical switch. So that way when someone comes in here, uh, they could utilize the room without having the app.